Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to make some simple Play-Doh. You need flour, salt, and I'm making this a spicy Play-Doh. So I have a choice of ginger and nutmeg, which is what I would offer my child if I had several spices that I didn't mind using a little of, or I might just suggest to them one. But it's really fun for children to try smelling different smells and then deciding, hmm, so ginger. It's also a great way to introduce children to other sensory hmm, nutmeg and let them make that decision. So all you need for simple Play-Doh is a cup of flour and I'm going to use my measuring cup and I'm going to use those words because that introduces children to um, words they may not be familiar with, great for language development. And I'm going to have my child pour it into the bowl. Of course, I'm doing it at my designated spot, so I'm not worrying about mess in the house because this is where we do all our activities, easy then for cleanup. And I'm going to use a quarter cup of salt. And I'm having a hard time opening the salt box. Now, tomorrow, if you're able to get here in person, because we open in person tomorrow inside, we're going to use this Play-Doh. It'll be an individual bag so that every child can have their own just because of um, COVID, but we're going to actually be using this Play-Doh. So now I'm pouring, or my child is pouring a quarter cup of salt. And I could talk about this being smaller than one cup. This is a quarter of a cup, pour it in the bowl, and then I'm going to ask them if they'd like to add some spice. And like I say, I have ginger and nutmeg. So I'm going to choose ginger, I'm going to pour some, and this is a great way if you've got some old spices that have really lost their potency and you want to use them up. And then I'm going to stir that up with my spoon, let my child and I mix it up. So because we're by ourselves a lot, it's really important to help children learn about turn taking. And this is a skill that kindergarten teachers are now um, talking about saying, because children haven't had those opportunities to be with other children, some of them don't understand that give and take of turn taking. So a great way to do it is to go one, two, three, four, five, your turn. One, two, three, four, five, my turn. It's that back and forth interaction. One, two, three, four, five, your turn. Now at this point, I may put a drop of food coloring in my water. I usually add, I start with a half a cup of water and then I slowly add it. So if I have food coloring on hand, I could ask my child what color they would like. In this case, green. So I'd add a few drops of green, and then I would pour in a half a cup and let them pour it in and stir it up. One, two, three, four, five. Your turn. One, two, three, four, five. My turn. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to see if the Play-Doh is coming together or if it appears too dry. In this case, I actually think it's just about the perfect amount of water. So a cup of flour, half a cup of salt, uh, sorry, a quarter cup of salt and a half a cup of water. To me, seems like the perfect. Now, mine has a nice smell of ginger, and it's a very light green. Of course, your child may want to make it darker green. They may want to experiment with um, using several colors. All of that's great. And then at the end, you've got a nice ball of Play-Doh to play with if you keep this in the fridge because you just have one child using it or uh, just people in your family. This will keep for about a week, I would say, if you keep putting it back in a baggie in the fridge. Um, in the case in the center, normally, what we would do is only use it for a day and then throw it out because of numbers of hands. Because of COVID, of course, we'll be putting it in baggies and each child will have an individual baggie to take home at the end of the day. 
So that's just a really neat, easy Play-Doh recipe, but adding a little bit of spice makes it another sensory opportunity because of the smell. Okay, hope you try this easy recipe and see you tomorrow.